Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to test out a foundation. Now, you're going to see me looking like this in two videos. I'm filming two videos today simultaneously. So for this video, I wanted to really focus on the foundation. So this is a foundation review. And if you'd like to find out more about all the other products that I'm gonna have on my face, then you can check out that video as well. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me for today's video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. So this is the La Mer foundation and I've been testing it out for a couple of weeks now. It is the Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 20. This shade is Honey 43. So let's go ahead and get started. Just so you guys know what I'm using on my face, starting out with primer water. I'm also trying out the Guerlain Primer and I have been testing this out. This foundation provides medium coverage. It is for normal, dry, combination, or oily skin types. The finish is natural. It says, iconic skincare and pure color in one. Layer and build this fresh feel foundation to create the luminous look you love. It also claims to be silky, weightless, and of course give you that natural finish. It helps your skin maintain balance. Long wearing, natural, flexible coverage makes pores and imperfections virtually disappear. And it's supposed to be good for wrinkles. It's supposed to plump in the skin. It has the miracle broth in it. That is the healing force that flows through all of the La Mer products. Hydrates, energizes, and soothes. Free of parabens and sulfate and something else, guys. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm going to just apply it with a beauty blender. I have found that it seems to really like the beauty blender. So we have one pump here and let me just show you guys how far this goes. Oh, and you know what? Let me also do this really quickly. I have really been loving this brush for application of the foundation. That's one pump and what I'm going to do, I purchased this brush from Sephora. It's the number 47 foundation brush and I purchased it for a different reason. I thought I could like use it to help spread out my concealer. And I ended up using it more to apply foundation, which is its purpose. And I forgot to shake this, so let's shake it up. So I'm just going to apply the foundation with this brush and then I will blend it out with the Beauty Blender. And this is the second pump here. And before you guys say anything, this foundation is light on me. Um, just give it a moment. Okay, and I'll explain <laughs> how it works here. I'll explain some things. All right, that's kind of, um, this is sort of pump number three. And I'm adding quite a bit because this is medium coverage and I'm more of a full coverage person or at least want my um, blemishes and things like that covered. So I'm putting on quite a bit here. All right, and then we'll get ready to blend it out. But I've just found that by using an actual foundation brush to apply foundation, it just keeps my other tools from getting so dirty and filthy. So let's go ahead and blend this in with the Beauty Blender. So this is what like three, it's like two and a half pumps looks like. And as you can tell, it is very skin-like and it does offer medium coverage because I can still see some things showing through. So I'm going to see if this will build up coverage. So I'm going to add a little bit more. It's not a very thick foundation. So it should be lightweight because it's not thick at all. Okay. So we're just going to add a little bit more to a few places here where I like to have a little more coverage. This is basically like three and a half pumps, a lot of pumps, and it's still sort of medium coverage. Now, let me tell you guys while I let this sit for a moment, 
This is $120 foundation. That was an important piece I should have told you at the very beginning. This is very expensive. It has a very limited shade range, especially for your deeper colors. There isn't a lot there. <laughs> And um, when I saw this shade for me, I was like, this is a little light. But the next shade is very deep. And I didn't know online that it was going to be this light because I can't actually go test this anywhere in store. I purchased this online. I could have returned it to the store, but I really wanted to see if I could make it work. I wanted to see if I could get some of those skincare benefits. So I wanted to try to make it work. And I have been making it work, even though it's a little bit light for me. When I bronze and contour and do everything else, you'll see it really does come together. But I wanted to do this video for people my complexion or darker or a little bit lighter so that you can see what honey looks like on me. I'll link some of my shades for my other foundations in the description box so that you guys can see what my typical shade is for my foundations. That will help you decide whether this is the shade for you. Just to let you guys know, I'm going to put on the Cover Effects Concealer on top of this foundation and I'm going to add all the other products to my face and you can check out my other video if you want to see the details about my makeup look. So I'll complete the rest of the look and then I'll talk to you guys about my impressions of this foundation. Okay guys, I'm back and I have completed my makeup look. Let's talk about the foundation. Hopefully it translates on camera pretty well because... I'm looking at myself in the mirror and this is a gorgeous foundation like it is beautiful the things that I like about the foundation let's start off with some of the pluses it really is lightweight as it claims it does not feel like I have anything on my face I paid a little bit less for this because I did receive a discount but it's a $120 foundation and you know so I'm, I'm that's an outfit that's an outfit or a handbag or something. So let's think about that, okay? Is it worth it? I like the fact that there are skincare ingredients. I feel like over time, I'll see the benefits of that, but I can't tell you that part right now, whether or not it's worth it to pay $120 for a foundation just for skincare benefits. But the fact that it seems to be good for your skin, that seems like a good thing to me. It is a medium coverage foundation, and I do have some areas that I need to cover, but maybe, if I use a foundation with skincare ingredients, some of that will improve and I won't have to cover so much. But I do have a few spots and blemishes that I need to cover. And this foundation does build, but I feel like if I would have kept building, it would be pointless. Like if I have to put five or six pumps of foundation on just to cover certain areas, then this foundation won't last very long. And why not just buy a full coverage foundation? I don't like that it doesn't cover as much as I'd like for it to, but it doesn't claim to cover a lot. It's a medium coverage foundation. So it's doing what it claims. I just typically prefer a full coverage foundation. So even right now, there are blemishes that are peeping through that I can see peeping through this foundation. Sometimes with my foundations, those things are covered. So that part I don't like. As you can also tell, I bronzed my skin, I contoured my skin, and the shade match is better. So don't be fearful if you can't find your perfect shade. If you can get the right undertone, like I'm typically neutral undertone and sometimes warm, and you can typically make your foundation look a little bit darker using bronzer. So for me, I will go lighter before I will go darker. It's harder for me to make my foundation look lighter on my skin, especially because some foundations oxidize and they get darker. Hopefully you guys can tell that it blends in pretty well with my skin tone, even though when I first started applying it, it looked really light. I've had it on for a couple of hours, working on my makeup look and filming, and it's holding up really well. Like I don't see it being extremely shiny or anything, but as I've worn it different days, I got different results. And I actually recorded some of those. I didn't record it in video, but I wrote down my thoughts about it as I was wearing it. When I first wore it with the, I had on the La Mer Moisturizer and the Guerlain Primer, I wasn't all that impressed. Like I felt like it was kind of breaking down or just not looking its best by the end of the day. And then I wore a Sunday Raleigh moisturizer. It was like a vitamin C moisturizer and the YSL primer. And I used the Bobbi Brown Deep 
bronzer. I'm not sure which, which bronzer I used the first day, but the second day I used that bronzer and it looked better. Um, day three, I had on the Glam Glow Moisturizer, the Guerlain Primer, and the Becca Bronzer, and I got complimented that day as far as how it looked. Today, I wore the Becca Bronzer as well. The fourth day, it was Sunday Riley Moisturizer, the Bobbi Brown Primer that I like. I used the Fenty Primer in the T-Zone, and I used the Laura Mercier Powder and the Clinique Powder. Laura Mercier was in my T-Zone, Clinique was all over, and the foundation wore its best on that day. It really likes the Clinique Powder. The Bobbi Brown Primer is kind of good for oily skin, and so it worked really well that day. And I think I also, I didn't record that, but I also used it with the Too Faced Hangover Primer, and it worked really well with that primer too. I know that's a lot of information. What I learned throughout that week of wearing it is the foundation seemed to perform differently based on the different products that I use with it. Some foundations that I wear, no matter which primer I use, no matter which powder I use, the foundation is going to look really good every single time. Whereas this foundation seemed to be finicky and it worked better with certain primers over others, certain powders over others, certain bronzers over others, okay? It's beautiful. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. And I feel like I'm probably doing something really good for my skin, but... It's just okay in some ways. It's just okay. I mixed it with my double wear foundation because sometimes I do a little foundation cocktail and it wore really well with that too. I like that combo. I like it and I'm not saying don't buy this. I'm just saying it's really expensive and don't expect miracle wear. And I just think that if you pay this kind of money for a foundation, you probably want to see your best look ever, your best skin ever. And I don't know that I can say that for sure, that it is my best foundation ever. It's my most expensive foundation, but I can't say it is my best foundation. I'm not going to do a wear test on this. I'm not going to wear it all night. Um, I'm just kind of letting you know my thoughts based on having worn it for a couple of weeks. I like the foundation, but I have worn other foundations and gotten more compliments. And I have had it last longer throughout the day. And so you guys decide for yourself. It's really tough when it comes to this because sometimes you can't even test it out in store. You have to order it online. The fact that it doesn't have a really good shade range is also kind of challenging. It may be difficult for you to match yourself. So that's also something to consider. There are some people who have ranted and raved over this foundation. And so I was expecting so much more from it than what I've gotten so far. But that being said, guys, you guys know how I am. I'll have like a, an impression of it. And as I continue to work with it and work through it and work through the seasons and use different products, I'll find a way to use the product. And I may come back in a month and tell you guys that I love this. Like I may come back and say this is the best looking foundation ever. It's just right now I'm kind of not sure. So I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. If it was, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps YouTube to know to push my video out so that other people can find it and see it. Also, if you have any questions or comments, leave them for me below and I will respond. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.